Welcome back to NTPA Power Unlimited from Galax, Virginia. It's Smokers Only, the Battle of the Super Stocks. Hi, everybody. I'm Doc Riley, and joining me on the program, Greg Randall. And Greg, Smokers Only, this will be a good one. It'll be a great one, Doc. It's a plumber's nightmare to find out how they put four turbochargers underneath the hood of these machines. Alice Chalmers, International Harvesters, John Deere, they create 230 pounds of manifold pressure, five times greater than the Indianapolis 500. It should be a good one. They call them the Superstock class, and they may look like a farm tractor, but underneath the side shields, lots of cubic inches and up to four turbochargers. That's the maximum they can put underneath the side shields. They run diesel, that for power. And what they do is they light a little fire inside the side shields. They put the diesel in, a little air, they spin those turbochargers, and they produce all kinds of manifold pressure. A Superstock pilot really has to be on top of his game as far as concentration. Then they're steering the tractor with your feet. More on that a little bit later. This is David Moore out of Boonesboro, Maryland, the agitator, first up in a John Deere 4455. A beautiful night in Galax, Virginia, and the smoker class set the rock and roll here at Phelps Park. David Moore makes sure that everything is lined up for this 300-foot trip down the track, he hopes. Now he'll start to build the boost and the pressure before he lets off that clutch and sets sail for that magical full, full distance. David Moore with problems right off the line. He didn't quite have all the pressure. It looks like there may be some rear end problems right there. That tractor is broke. Thank goodness it's early in the season. He'll be able to come back and campaign another day, but no distance for him. You talk about distance, this guy comes down from Ole in New York to come play. It's Tom Dickerson and the 20 Mule team. Dickerson, been involved with pulling for about 20 years at IH 3688, 436 cubic inches underneath the side shields. Now, Dickerson knows a little bit about turbochargers because as a living, he is a turbine engine specialist. Former national champion, he won last year. He hopes to be able to duplicate the magic here once again at Galax. Tom Dickerson is one of those guys that's never satisfied with what he does. Even if he wins, he wants to go back and get a little bit more horsepower back out. Wants to get all that he can get out of the 20 mule team. He'll change combinations. He's always looking for the advantage. An experienced track reader and a guy right now who backs up the 20 mule team who hopes to be able to pull as much horsepower as possible. This is a biting track right here and it's up to Tom Dickerson to guide the 20 mule team down to the leading distance. Dickerson with the full head of steam goes over 319 feet, the leader in the class with the full pole. Let's go trackside to Greg Randall. Tom Dickerson, heck of a run to start the season out in the diesel super stock class. Well, right now I'm pretty happy because I've changed everything. I've changed anything from the motor, the head to the turbos, the, the transmission, tire combination. My weight's way off. The late, motor's a little lazy. It's kind of fat. I got to lean it out, but I'm happy. The thing's still running. Hey, we're out the end. We'll see if we can stay in the game. Think there'll be a few more out the end? You better believe it. Thanks. Here's another tractor that could end up out of the end. This is Jonathan Mears. It used to be his tractor. He sold it to Larry Roberts, who can't make it down to Galax. So what's he do? Hires last year's pilot to come back and take a ride here on the Ryan's Toy, the IH Magnum. This tractor, lots and lots of horsepower. The turbochargers, big throaty sound right here on those big cubic inches. Been very well so far this year. Let's see what Jonathan Mears can do with it here. It's Ryan's Toy. You may notice the new rollover protection here, that rollover protection system mandated by NTPA on all of the big tractors. They produce so much horsepower and so much wheel speed right now, the rollover protection really becomes necessary. It's early in the year and some of the drivers still trying to get used to that kind of caged in feeling. Jonathan Mears never been on the tractor for about eight or nine months. This is her first time back in a seat. During the off season, they put a whole lot of horsepower back in this vehicle. The turbochargers and the clutch are wound up tight. Here comes Ryan's toy. Mears right now trying to find the right gear. Once that clutch and all that pressure comes back up, it's real tough to hold your foot on the clutch paddle. You've got to ease it off a little bit so the tractor comes off the line really, really smooth.
a little overflow out of the front end for Jonathan Mears and Ryan's toy, 286 and 6. Let's go trackside with Greg Randall. Jonathan, what happened out there? A little bit of a rough start. Yeah, I know. I uh, wasn't used to the clutch the way they had it set up, and uh, it just came back to me kind of quick there on the second attempt. And I think I came out enough, but I should have had it been on top of the motor a little bit more. First time running off the off season. Got to get the cobwebs wiped out of the head. One of the grand old men of the game is Jerry Van Dorpy from Charlotte, Michigan, the Screaming Demon 2. You'll see right there, crew chief putting a little ether into the air cleaner right there. A unique configuration on this tractor. It has all the plumbing on the outside. The turbochargers are underneath the side shields where they're supposed to be according to the rules. But Jerry likes to do that because one of his idols back in the sport about 35 years ago, that's the way he did it. Jerry's been a numerous uh, multi-time champion on the NTPA Pro National Series. His IH 986, 436 cubic inches and four turbos, producing all kinds of horsepower. Jerry Van Dorpy has been in this ball game for 40 years, 10 years longer than the NTPA's 30th anniversary. So he has seen just about everything that a track can throw at him. And he still loves to continue to compete right here. Has to go by 300 feet to force a pull-off. This guy can do it. Jerry Van Dorpy, the screaming demon too. The weight looked about right, but he may have had to get on the brakes for Jerry Van Dorpy, 2, 94, and 3 in the Screaming Demon 2. Jerry, you had a great run going mid-track. I started biting hard and throwing you toward the grandstand side. Not too much you can do when it starts taking you where it wants to take you. Well, uh, I'm getting used to this roll cage. I, anyway, yeah, it drew me to the left, and I had a brake that kind of feather it. I didn't want to hit it hard, you know, but uh, I lost a lot of momentum when I hit the brake when I went to the left that hard. Anything you do differently? Uh, try to stay straighter, I guess. <laughs> That's the name of the ball game, reading that track and keeping it on a straight course. Tom Dickerson leads with the full pole of the 20 Mule team. It's now to Charlie Ross, Zanesville, Ohio, and the whole handle engineering Alice Chalmers D21. A lot of horsepower here. It's the only orange tractor in the class. Red seems to be the color, those international harvesters, those case tractors, those big magnum tractors. That's kind of the preferred color. Don't ever tell that to a John Deere fan or to this guy right here, Charlie Ross. Coming out to try to get past 300 feet and force a pull-off here at the 18th Annual Galax Fire Department National Truck and Tractor Bowl. Quite have it all engineered to perfection that time. A little bit light on the front end. He'll go 210 and 5. Better luck next time. Well, we're pulling here in Galax, Virginia, and we should have a southern puller. This guy will fit the bill right here. Darren Carlson, Shelby, North Carolina, and an IH3688. Come up to run with the big boys. You'll notice that most of our competitors hail from Ohio or Indiana. Michigan, Minnesota. This guy right here probably close to home. This IH3688 right now gonna see if he can knock off the big national champs, the invaders here into the Galax Mountains. It is absolutely a beautiful night for truck and tractor pulling. This facility, Belt Park in Galax, Virginia, used only for truck and tractor pulling. That is the pulling surface itself. It's an excellent condition, provides lots and lots of fight, which means it's gonna take plenty of horsepower. Didn't quite have the bite either. You noticed all the dirt up against the buckboard of the sled for Darren, 212 and three. Could have put him at the back end of the result sheet. Darren, if you went back on that starting line, what would you do differently? Uh, I'd probably turn a little less water in on my motor. We've been having a lot of over overheating trouble, and uh, we just wanted to stay together on this run. We're going to probably fine tune it a little bit better for tomorrow night. 
In truck and tractor polling, you see new people come and go in the sport. One constant in this class has been Jerry, out of Michigan. He's been at this a long time, and he's had success all over the place. Jerry, how did you get started in truck and tractor pulling? I actually started, Doc, with farm tractors. I used to have an old M. I've always been international, always been red. And I'd take the M to town, we'd pull dead weight on concrete, even reverse the tire, you know, go through all that romance. And then we started pulling on a weight train. Well, we actually pulled on a sled where the people jumped on. Every 10 feet, there was a station, two more, you know. That was our yeah. automatic uh, weight transfer machine back years ago. And then uh, eventually, Ellen Bombs, well, there was a guy by the name of Jack Henry that built the first weight transfer machine. And then we started out with speed. We couldn't only run six mile an hour, you know, you'd have a pace tractor. And uh, I'm, I watch Max Simpson, a lot of the old guys, from my state and with a super stock and it just turned me on. I mean, the horsepower they get out of these diesels just turns my crank, I guess, and uh, that's the reason I moved up to the super stock division. He's got a room full of trophies and plaques to show for it, but as he said, one of the best things, friendship, competition, and continuing to strive to be the best on the NTPA championship pulling series. Esden Lane has been at this ball game about half the time that Jerry Van Dorpy has, about 15 years. And during that year, he has racked up a number of national championships and some pretty big event wins. He rolls out a brand new tractor. It's Esden Lane out of Dayton, Minnesota, on IH 1486, 436 cubic inches. This is its maiden voyage here at Galax. The big red one, piloted by Esden Lane. Makes it look so routine, a full pull, 310 feet, he's headed to a pull-off. Yeah, this one's kind of impressive. We just got this thing running here. It was sitting in the garage here for a year and a half, and we've been working on it steady here for uh, the last two months, and it made a pass better than I ever expected. We'll look for you in the pull-off against Dickerson. Do you think there'll be more out in the end? Oh, uh, I hope so. Two going to a pull-off, and maybe a third one right here. Ronnie, it's out of Largo, Indiana, in the Indiana Rascal, a 7240 Magnum, a championship caliber tractor. Even its little toy tractor replica right there sets this beautiful piece of machinery off. Ron, will, right now, would like to get past 300 feet to make it a three-way pull-off. Only time will tell here at Feltz Park in Galax, Virginia. Ron hammers off the line, but as you can see, he's going nowhere fast. The turbochargers are stalling. He's not going to get it hooked up at all. All he's doing is burning diesel fuel and doing it big time. Broke coming off the line, made the trip to Galax for nothing. Ron needs, I know it's kind of difficult. What happened on the run? All right, the starting track's just too wet. I just couldn't get a hold of it. Is there anything you'd do differently on your run if you had another opportunity? Well, I couldn't come back. My clutch was too hot when I tried to come back again. Uh, I just tried to come out of the hole too hard on a sandy track. Another competitor with over 25 years experience in the business aboard a John Deere 4010. 466 cubic inches, four big turbochargers. This tractor belongs to Neil Gettinger out of Hagerstown, Indiana. The up and atom. Again, we're diesel super stock pulling right here. They're limited to four turbochargers. The engine block, well, it's got to stay stock within the configuration of the model. So that is why these guys work really, really hard in lightening the vehicle as much as possible and then being able to put that additional weight on with turbochargers, some big sleeves, some big pistons to build all the horsepower they possibly can. Good shot there of Neil Gettinger's. He gets set the final competitor in our class, two out the gate past 300 feet. Can he make it three? Neil Gettinger never quite gets the front end up, and the tire's just not getting a bite here in Galax. He'll record 152 feet even. A tough break for the up and at him. 
It's full of time. The 20 Mule Team of Tom Dickerson, a former winner at this event, a former national champion. He'll go up against Esden Lane, who has essentially the same credentials. Whoever wins this one right here can gladly take home the big check from the Galax Fire Department and a big chunk of the points race right here. The National Tractor Pullers Association celebrating 30 years as a sanctioning body, and as they enter this year, everyone's looking forward to the big banquet at the end of the season to put together not only a finishing touch on an anniversary year, but whoever claims that points championship will have just a little bit extra going for them. A winner here last year, the 20 Mule Team, set to gallop down 300 feet. It's our pull-off here at the 18th Annual Galax Volunteer Fire Department Truck and Tractor Pull. What a great run by Tom Dickerson, 319 feet to take the lead. The 20 Mule team right out there, a good distance. President Lane may be to beat. Dickerson would love to repeat. His challenger, Esden Lane out of Dayton, Minnesota. This guy's been in this situation before. He knows one thing, he has to be patient. You can't hurry anything in super stock pulling. The manifold pressure has to come back up. You have to keep an eye on that boost gauge right there. That clutch is just straining your foot. It wants to pop off of it, but you've got to hold it into that last second. This guy's been a national champion before. He's been in the situation before, and he knows one thing. Patience may just pay off if everything else stays in line. The big red one, the brand new tractor out of Dayton, Minnesota. Here comes Esden Lane, his opportunity to win here at Galax. Maybe a little light on the nose, 310 and five. Second place for Esden Lane, the victory to the 20 Buell team. Welcome back to Galex. Let's go right to victory lane. Here's Greg Randall. Tom Dickerson, great two runs tonight. I don't think you could have done it any better. Well, I've got to do it better because this series season goes on, Esden gets better and better, and he gets tougher than nails, and so i got to get ahead of him all as quick as I can. You won twice here last year. This makes three in a row. What's the secret here at Galax? Well, it's a combination. You know, there's, every tractor on the track tonight has good power. It's just knowing how to get it to the ground. Everybody knows their own combination. I was lucky enough to come down last year and get a head start on some of these guys, so it, you know, I was able to use it to my advantage tonight. Well, it's going to be real tough on the other super stock competitors this year. Thanks a lot. Congratulations, Tom Dickerson. Well, thank you, and, and thank NTPA for the, uh, the diesel super stock class this year. I think it's, a good, it's going to be a good show. We're going to work hard at putting that uh, product on the track this year, and we'll see if we can uh, make that product fly. I think, we can, I think we can do it, and I'm going to try my best to be part of that.